G'day guys and welcome back to Car Force and today we're going to be going through a brief history of Australian cars in the Forza Horizon series. I'm going to keep this relatively simple because I've done quite a few videos on this channel talking about Australian cars and a lot of the cars in this video that I'm going to mention I've already um, talked about and done information videos on these particular cars so let's get straight into the video today. Now the first game we're going to talk about is Forza Horizon 1, the first Forza Horizon game. Um, and this game had literally no Australian cars in the game. The only Australian car in the game was a very unusual car, it was called the Joss JT1, that was the name of the car. Um, a very obscure car that was in this game, uh, but it was an Australian car nevertheless. I have talked about this car on this channel, you can go and um, check out those videos if you want to. But yeah, that was the only car uh, that was Australian in Forza Horizon 1. The next game we move on to is Forza Horizon 2. Now unfortunately there was no Australian cars in this game. I actually looked through the list of cars that were in the game. Um, and there was literally no Australian cars, which was a real shame because that was a good game. Um, but then we move on to Forza Horizon 3, and this is where all the Australian cars basically got introduced to Forza. And this was due um, because Forza Horizon 3 was based in Australia, as we know, and there was a lot of Australian cars. Now, I could go through all the Australian cars that were added to Forza Horizon 3, but I would be here for quite a long time, and it would make the video quite boring. But what I will say is that there were a lot of interesting Australian cars added to Horizon 3. There were Australian cars from all different areas, uh, they even added a lot of utes and it was great to see. I remember when this game released and there were all these Australian cars, uh, it was great. And Forza Horizon 3 basically introduced um, Australian cars to the Horizon series. We move on to Forza Horizon 4. Now Forza Horizon 4, uh, they, the developers basically carried over most of the cars, but they did add one new Australian car uh, that, would, that has never been in a, in a Horizon game, and that car is the HSV GTS 2011. Pretty interesting car, we, I would have liked to see more Australian cars added into the game, uh, but yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was good nevertheless. Now we move on to Forza Horizon 5, now there are Australian cars in Forza Horizon 5, which is great, but pretty much like Horizon 4, it's a lot of the cars that have been carried over from Horizon 3. They basically added all the Australian cars in Horizon 3, that's where most of them were added, um, and they were just, uh, these cars were basically just carried over. Um, I would like to see some new Australian cars in, in Forza Horizon 5. Um, as most of you out there, the Australian car industry doesn't really exist, but it would be great to get some, some old or some unusual Australian cars uh, in Forza Horizon 5. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to go through and look back at the history of Australian cars in Forza Horizon. As you can see, Horizon 3 was the king of Australian cars in the game, um, but I'd love to see some uh, more Australian cars in Horizon 5. That would be great. It probably won't happen, but uh, it's definitely a, a wish that I have. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this Car Force video, and I'll see you next time in another Car Force video. See you later, guys.